Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, y'all. Come on, like a cherry. Come on. Come on, like a cherry. Your boy done switched up on you. Wait a minute, wait a minute, y'all. You guys, look, if this is your very first time in this channel, run on over there and subscribe for us. And after you subscribe, make sure you hit that notification bell beside the word subscribe so that you'll be notified each and every time that we upload a video. And then, welcome to this great family. Now that you're a part of us, there's some things that we do. And we do them every day because they help us grow. Those things are comment, comment, comment like a sharing, go for the team. Comment like a sharing, go for the team. Come in like a share and don't forget to come in like a share. Come in like a share. Come in like a share. Don't forget to come in like a share. Come in like a share. Come in like a share. Don't forget to. Don't forget to come in like a share. Okay, you guys, check this out. We're going to go ahead and pray. We'll get into the good days. Here we go. Hey, man. How y'all doing today? How y'all doing today? How y'all doing today? You guys, today is Wing Wednesday. You guys, I got us a little salad here. It's just some lettuce, some cucumbers that sprinkle with some garlic, salt, pepper, and tahini. I've got some eggs in here, and I've got some, I shredded some carrots in there too. I thought that would be good for today. We have just some wings that I fried up, baby, in some grease, and then I put them in the air fryer to make them crispy. Don't forget, if you like your coldest water bottle, look at the description box. I put it way up at the top. The link is in blue. Get you one, and if you put in the code LLIPS LIPS, They'll give you 10% off your entire order. So make sure you do that. We're going to be using the two times spice today, y'all. Over here to the side, I've got your lips hot sauce. And if you like your bottle, make sure you look up in the top of the description box, too. It's also in blue. With, along with your merch. You can get your merch there, too, on the same link. You guys, make sure that you shop. Shop, shop, shop. Okay. You guys, y'all already know. Big Ben is in the building, baby. Big Ben is here. Big Ben is going to help us out, y'all, because, baby... Those wings probably gonna be hot. So today I made sure I froze him, honey, so he got ice in him. So I know he's got some refreshing, but let's check anyway. Mmm. He's cold. Y'all got my sappy mom over here. And I've got my Tyrus Big World of Flavor, my sweet heat mesquite for my salad. I chose today. Y'all kept telling me to eat Thousand Island. Or oh, some people did. When I have salads every time, they say, well, why don't you ever eat Thousand Island and Thousand Island? And I'm okay with Thousand Island. So I got us on the day for my Thousand Island lovers. I did that. And y'all, and now let's get to eat. Let's get to eat. So how's your day? How's your day going? Here's the first bite of the salad with the Thousand Island on. It's just a little simple salad, y'all. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. I knew I wanted some salad today. I don't know why, but I did. Mmm. Oh, well, I got some white onions in there too. Mmm, mmm. I got some white onions in there too, y'all. These wings should be crispy. They should be crispy. Mmm. 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 I knew that was. Well. I find them in green. And then I turn around and put them in the air fryer. Mmm. Mmm. So I knew that would be good and crispy. Mmm. Mmm, my tea is good. Mmm. I felt like some two times spicy today, too, y'all. Let me check it out. Fried wings. Happy Wing Wings, starring. Are you guys eating with me today? I hope so, honey. I hope so. Mmm. Y'all gotta put a little salt on the salad. Mmm. -hmm. Well, you know what? I have came to the conclusion because I watch the videos back when I'm editing them 
and stuff. And you guys know, like literally in the camera, it looks like I am putting like a whole lot of salt on that food, but it really don't be that much coming out of here. Um, you know, in my house, and I remember one time before Zaddy Chunk Chunk saying something to the effect of that, that it looks like that. You know, you're just pouring on a mountain's worth of something, and you're really not. But anywho, mm, I'll probably cut that out. Because y'all think I'm trying to make an excuse about my salt intake, and I'm not. I saw that. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I bought these wings. Uh-oh. I bought these wings in the grocery store. I just saw them just two times spice on them. And I dropped my fork. Mmm. 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 I bought them in the grocery store. They were a lot bigger when I started frying them. But anyway. Mm-hmm. I brought me in that bag. I think that bag was like fourteen dollars. Mm. For like five pounds of wings. I think it may be I think it's five pounds. I don't think it's ten. I dropped my fork down there, boo. Can you get it for me? Mmm. I'm hungry too, y'all. Thank you, my little princess. Oh, now y'all got a little sneak peek of boost that. <laughs> little lips. Mmm. 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 Y'all, these wings are good. They've been in the refrigerator marinating all night. We need nothing but a little salt, a little pepper. Some seasoned salt. And that's it. We just marinating. Like I said, I had a taste for two times spicing. But at first, I was gonna do some noodles. Mmm. Mmm. But then I said, hold up. I brought some chicken wings about two weeks ago, and we hadn't had a wing Wednesday. Mmm. For a long time. So I said, then, I'm just gonna do the chicken. Then put it on that. And give us a little salad. Mmm. Mmm. But it's good too. So I came up with the right thing. I did. Mmm. So y'all. Today we're going to talk about choices. Okay. So today we're going to talk about choices. We're going to talk about, uh-oh, oh, that's the tower sauce I put on there. I don't know if y'all can see it. Mm-hmm. We're going to talk about choices, y'all. If you are past the age of 15, uh, at least, especially 15, um, you have obligations to make choices for your life. Even at 15, your parents still have some control. Yes, they do. But at that point, you're making choices as far as you know, like what you want to do with your body. You know, you're making no choices by the end. Choices of what you want to do with your money. Um, choices of what attitude you want to take toward the world. You know, during this time, you are having a makeup of 
You got political views. You're making choices on whether you want to or, or not, or where do you want to go to college. You start making choices. Mm. Mm. For your life. You do. And sometimes you're going to make some bad ones. You are. But you still got to live with them. You got to live with them. And you cannot make your choices of what you choose in life be problems of other people. You can't. Someone IG me and their whole conversation was about how they feel like that the choices that they have made in life have corrupted them or made them feel unhappy. And my response was, well, are you making better choices now? No. If you're saying that the choices of what you chose to do with your body when you were younger, that they scarred you, and it doesn't give you the ability to you know, love and be free with your body. Um, you know that it, it stunted you in those areas. But what choices are you making today? You know, because you're no longer a 15 year old child, you know, you at this point are a grown individual. And if you know the choices that you made were bad then, I mean, really, y'all, this was the question that I asked. What kind of choice are you making today? Hi. You say, I'm going to tell you something. Me, myself and I, me, lips. I cannot try to help you save your feelings in areas that I do not feel like would be helpful for you to save your feelings. I can't do that. I'm not the smartest person in the world, but I have been through a lot. I have, and I have been through a lot in a lot of different areas. Um, I just have. I told you guys before, some of the most gruesome things that you can think about that could happen to a child happened to me. They did. But I made the conscious choice that I wasn't going to let that define my life. You know what I mean? That I wasn't going to let that not let me have the ability to love my husband or my child the correct way. Oh, yeah, I got another one of those, um, the other designs today. I should do a thumbnail with that. But anyway, um, I made a conscious choice that I wasn't going to let that define me throughout my life. I did. Uh -huh. Mm. And I'm doing my best so far, you know, not to, not to let it affect me in that way. You know, it's just like, with God, you guys, we have a choice. God said he gave you five senses not to be a fool in anything so that you would have a choice to come to him, to love him, to have faith in him, to follow him, to, you know, want to be more like him. He gave us a choice. He didn't make us. He said he's going to give you a choice. So 
So with that being said, you have sources in life. And you can allow the choices that you made that were bad back then rule your life today. If so, you're still trapped in the same choice that you made back then. You see what I'm saying? You have got to decide at some point that you're going to move on. You do. If not, the choices that you did make then, and some of them may not have been voluntarily. You know, a whole lot of choices were made for us, were made for us, and they were pressed upon us. They were. But those were choices of other people. That wasn't your choice. I'm talking about your choice. And when you make those choices, especially if you're grown, you got to live. To, you got to live up to them. You know, you can't jump out there and make the choice to buy a lemon. You know, you go out there. And a lot of people buy bills because of the way they look. Don't care about what's under the hood. Well, that's a choice that you made. You know what I'm saying? But if you made that choice, hmm, then you got a car note, and you sign your name down on it, which is your word. Your word is your bond. And now you got to pay for it. But you made that choice. You got to live with it. You know, you jump out there, speaking to the ladies. I know I have some men, but mostly ladies. You jump out there and um, you go to the club. You have your few drinks, you know. You looking good. You got your hair fried, dyed, and laid to the side. You don't got a little color in it. You know, you whipping and jumping and doing it, you know. Face made up, heels on. You know. You got your grooves on. And this fine young specimen come through. You know. You looking good, you feeling good, few cocktails. And you mess around, you get mesmerized and screwed up in your head. And find yourself and stuff of all the signs that you saw at the altar six months from now. With this fine young specimen. Oh, he fine. He fine, he fine. And you find yourself at the altar. And you marry this fool, honey. And then you get this fool, and he got to move in. He got to move into your house. You know. I saw that, but I ain't gonna see it. Yes, I am. You know you're on the right channel, baby. You know you're on the right channel. <laughs> I just <coughs> wait a minute. <coughs> wait a minute. <coughs> Two in one combo with that. Somebody didn't like what I was saying. But anywho, you find yourself that married this fool, and now he got to move into your house. Won't keep a job, won't buy no grocery. You know, but that was a choice that you made. But when you went down there, <coughs> excuse me, y'all. Mm. or wherever you went and you vowed before God that you were going to be there and this was your husband for better or for worse rich or poor sickness in hell that was a choice you made so now you got to stick with it you know what I'm saying life is about choices your life is about choices You choose whether you're going to be happy or not. You choose that. And if you ever find yourself in a situation to where you are allowing someone else to take that choice from you as a grown individual, that's your own fault. That's your own fault. I mean, it is. That's two times spicy, y'all. Down here on this board, I keep wiping it up. It's got my nose running. But you... 
have the ability to choose to be happy. You do. No one else can do that for you but you. Well, that's it. Because you thought you're fine, young specimen. You got in the phone, you said, Oh, girl. Oh, girl, he's so fine. And your girlfriend said, Oh, girl, how fine is he? And you said, Oh, girl, he is fine, honey. He is fine. And you get to talking and you get to talking. And she said, Well, girl, what the package like? Hey, <laughs> And you said, Oh, girl. It's just what I need, girl. And get what? You don't realize that you made a choice to tell her that. And get what? It was just what she needed, too. <laughs> hey, did you say that, Lips? Lips, did you say that? Lips, you said that. <laughs> hey. Choices. You feel me? Choices. She at home every day. He at home every day because you taking care of him. Choices. But you invite it. You chose to invite that demon into your home. That's what I'm saying. I'm just giving y'all some examples. And hopefully you all can get the just of what I'm saying. You make choices in life. About what makes you happy. Because no one else in the world can do that but you. You can find some happiness through others. Sure you can. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But at the end of the day, the only person to make you happy is yourself. Because it's not what people do or the world does to you that makes you happy or unhappy. It's not that. It is the attitude in which you take. Y'all, I've seen that too. But that's all right. That's all right. It is the attitude in which you take about how the world you know, what happens around you in your surroundings. It's the attitude and how you take what goes on. Because anybody can call you. They can call me anything in the world. I can be anything in the world that you want me to be. You can call me wherever you want to call me. It's up to me to make the choice of how what you call me, how that makes me feel. You see what I'm saying? I'm a firm believer in that it's never what people call you in life that matters. It is what you answer to that gives you substance to your character. Of who you are is what you answer to. Because if you answer to it, that makes it real. You make the choice to make that be who you are. You did. You make that choice, Legion. We have choices. Mm-hmm. Now, I can't hold this no more. I can't. Legion. We at 40K, baby. We at 40K. Ha ha ha! 40K. Y'all, I thank you guys so, so much for that. I really, really do. You guys are the best in the business, baby. Y'all, I was trying to contain it because I wanted to get this conversation out. I really, really did. But I had to get some of that go. Okay. Now, back to what I was saying. Every choice that you make in life, y'all, it's not going to be good. It's not. It's not going to be good. And it's not going to always be pleasurable. It's just not. But, mm, mm, you have to be grown enough to understand that you make that choice and you got to live with it. But once you recognize that it is a bad choice, you have to actively start doing something about it if that choice doesn't make you happy. I mean, if it doesn't make you happy, you can choose to continue. Or you can choose to do something about it. So that's totally up to you. It's still yet another choice. You get where I'm going with this? Stay prayed up. Tell God all your needs. Tell him all your wants. Tell him all your desires. Tell him about those bad choices. God, I messed up. I messed up, Lord. I did. I mean, you just got to tell him. It's not that he don't already know, but you have to tell him. You got to speak it out your mouth. So he'll know that you understand that you need his help with this thing. You know what I mean? And then you pray about it. Once you realize 
If them choices that you have made was the wrong choices, then you pray about it. And you leave that thing alone, for real. If you're going to pray, then don't worry. But if you're going to worry, then don't pray. That's just how it goes, y'all. That's how it go. And that's hard. That's hard to do. They just say it's going to leave your mind. And you ain't going to never think about it no more. But you can't worry. You know what I'm saying? You can't worry. Once you don't give it over to God, you got to let him have it. Because a lot of times, God will work a situation out for you, but you keep putting yourself in the way. You keep putting yourself in the way. Yes, you. You done prayed about something, God done worked it out for you, and you you just can't leave it alone. You got to keep putting your hand in it, keep putting your hand in it, keep putting your hand in it. And every time you put your hand in it, God said, well, if you didn't need me, then I should let you down on your own. And you got to go back through it again, and through it again, and through it again. When you give something over to God, let that thing go. Don't put yourself back in the way. Let that thing go. But now you got to be able to willing to accept how God works it out for you too now. Choices. Choices. If you make the choice, you know how people say, oh, I can't worry about that no more. I just gave it over to God. I ain't gave my son or my husband or my child or my whatever. I can't worry about that anymore. I ain't gave it over to God. No, you ain't. You lying. You lying. You don't gave it over to God, but you're going to call you and say, I need $10 for gas, and you give them 20 just to make sure they got something to eat. You ain't gave it over to God. When you give something over to God, if you give a person over to God, you step out the way. And you let God deal with that. Now, what you have to do, if you give something over to God, Give it up to God, let him have it. Trust me, because you keep putting yourself in the way. He can't work it out for you. Because you keep getting in the way. Now, let me go back to this. 40K, y'all, 40, not 40, 40K, y'all. We at 40K. <laughs> Look, y'all, I'm going to get up out of here. I hope you guys have enjoyed. I really, really do. I hope you guys have enjoyed. I truly, truly really do. Make sure you look in the mirror today and say, how am I treating myself? How am I treating myself? And have I brightened up somebody's day this week? Have I done it this week? If you haven't, get on it. I love you guys so, so much. And I'm going to see you guys next time, okay? So I'm my new Legion. Boom, boom. Like this, get y'all up music then. Boom, boom. I know I reserved that for the existing Legion. But I gave it to you today. Boom, boom. So I'm my existing Legion. Boom, boom. I love you guys so, so much. I really, really do. And I'm going to see you guys next time, okay? I love you too. Oh. Hold up. Big Ben says good night. <laughs> hey. Big Ben says good night. Big Ben said, since he done come off of his um, a break from his stimulus check. Wait. Vacation. Yeah. Since Big Ben done come off his vacation, he said that he needs to be introduced. And he wants to say good night every day. I tell him I don't know about all that. I didn't make that choice. <laughs> Y'all love you guys so so much. Let's see if Big Ben is nice and refreshing here on the end. Yeah. Mm. Ah. Yes, he is. You guys, now I'm gonna go. Like I said, I hope you guys have enjoyed. I really, really do. You guys don't forget, as grown individuals, we have choices to make. We have to live with those choices. All you can do is pray and ask God before you make them choices to help you make the right one. That's all you can do. I love you guys so, so much. I'm going to see you next time, okay? Just don't forget what I said. And congratulations for 40K, y'all. 40K. Bye-bye, y'all. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, y'all. You guys look. Oh, always remember that there's always more than one way home. All you have to do is get there. So get there, people. Get there. I love you all. And I'm going to see you guys next time. And if you're not going to watch me next time, you have lied to me. And I know you lied. Period. <laughs> bye. Bye. Mwah. Boo State. Coronavirus. <laughs> All right, I'm doing my bit show. Ooh. How about y'all? Y'all see how them bones?
Baby, I done some eating, honey. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.